the saying goes, none of us is as strong or as powerful as all of us. With that in mind, our good friend Ryan Mack recently wrangled up a group of professionals to return to his hometown for the first annual Detroit National Teach-In, a week of economic empowerment summits. This is Ryan Mack. Day one of the Detroit National Teach-In is Monday morning about 6.45 a.m. And I'm on my way right now to Renaissance High School, one of the most prestigious high schools in Detroit. I think financial literacy is important to our students because so many of them are interested in going into areas that are business related. Detroit is 80 percent what? Black. black. In the black community, the dollar circulates how much before it leaves the community? Not even one time. White community is about eight times, Asian community is about nine times before it leaves the community. What is one, one thing that you feel as students that we can improve upon that they're looking at you and saying, let me apply this into my curriculum. Well, one thing uh, I'm thinking of top of my head is uh, community-based um, learning. Um, you learn character by doing community service. We have a lot of clubs and organizations here. A lot of peer communication that, that takes place, and it, it's, it's very motivating. So one problem is that we don't support our own businesses. What's the other problem? We don't really have any budget. We don't have any businesses to support. The youth that we've met today at Renaissance have just been so uh, bright. They've been goal-oriented. It's just been um, so nice to talk to them a little bit about what some of their career goals are, uh, what some of their visions are. This is uh, the end of day one of the Detroit National Teach-In, and today was actually a pretty good day. It was uh, very successful. On tap for tomorrow, we have Blanche Kelso Bruce Academy. I'm just so excited to see all the possibilities and potential that's here, showing them what's possible and also what's necessary for them to become more successful. Whatever's holding you back on an emotional level is also holding you back on a physical level as well. There are two classes I encourage everyone to take in life. One is a class in acting. I want you to learn how to act as if. Everyone doesn't need to know how you feel. Learn how to begin to change your emotions. The next class is a class in martial arts, because you need to know how to defend yourself on a physical level as well. Education is definitely key to the revitalization of Detroit because if we don't start lifting up our youth and we don't start taking care of them, giving them the education that they need, there is going to be no revitalization of Detroit. We have the highest dropout rate in the country and our kids uh, underperform uh, in too many areas. As the statistics bear out that the more educated you are, the more money you will make. And if you can make more money, then you can obviously get that money working for you sooner than later. And who, of course, does not want that? That's what everyone wants. Well, back here in New York with us is Ryan Mack, and he's going to walk us through a step-by-step -step guide to reevaluating what exactly you need to do to make your dreams come true. Ryan, thanks for being here. Thank you. You say the first thing you need to do is figure out what it is that really drives you, right? Well, your passion is, is, is critical. The two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day you know why you were born. So when you figure out why you're here, and, and so what we always instruct individuals to do is write down your skills, talents, or hobbies. That can be a good indication of why you're here, what your talents are. You, you'll make the most money doing what you're good at doing and what you love to do. I don't think people expected for the, the philosophical side of Ryan Mack to come right. out when you start talking about <laughs> financial literacy. Right. But yeah, if you figure out what you are good at, so what? So what if you decide, I'm really good at this, but how do I change this into something that makes money for me? Well, exactly. See, if, if, you are, uh, if you're good at baking, and you might not necessarily think that five years from now you'll be a, uh, have your own law office or something like that. You might want to own your own restaurant. So the first thing is figure out what sort of steps you need to take to start getting into ba more baking classes. Uh, if you're good at construction, you're good with your hands, and you might want to figure out what sort of education you need in order to walk through the process of starting your own construction company. And again, th these are the things that we've helped the additional uh, individuals with, especially in the Detroit National Teaching and what we really do on a yearly basis. And day -day let's basis. talk a little bit about resources. When you're evaluating what you may be good at, right. finding out how you can get there and what resources can help you. Exactly. Once you've had your vision in place, then you have to figure out, okay, now what resources can I use in order to help me achieve my vision and make sure that I can fulfill my purpose and passion in life? Two most precious resources that you could ever have are people 
and knowledge. So you need to be figuring out what people can I talk to you. I, I always say that you're only one person away from achieving your true blessing in life. So what people do I need to talk to? How can I network more effectively and efficiently? And then what knowledge do I need to have? You know, once I figure out the people I'm connecting with, what schools can I need to enroll in? What community colleges? It's $2 billion in the uh, SAFRA legislation in order to go back to community colleges that are being helping, helping individuals to get training, get education. So these are the type of knowledge and people you can actually take, acquire the necessary resources to move ahead. So, and then let's just take all of that together then and right. say you need to have a concrete plan right. about how you're going to attack it. Right. How do you go about putting that together? Well, again, every, every three months, I, I call it my business plan for my own personal life. So I always get together and say, what sort of tangible steps do I need to put in place in order to make sure I can get from where I am today to achieving my true vision. So a good step is not I'm going to feel good, I'm going to get on the right side of the bed. A good step is I'm going to call that individual to make a meeting with him to talk about what sort of connections can we leverage off of one another. I'm going to go down to the community college and enroll. I'm going to make sure that I can go to fastweb.com and, and enroll in that scholarship to go back to school. Uh, my children are going to school. I need to go to school myself so we can further our education. Yeah, find that destination and find your way to get there. Ryan exactly. Mack, thanks so much. Great work in Detroit. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Aside from the students who benefited from the Detroit National Teach-In, there are a group of inmates at a Detroit prison who received a lesson or two in financial prosperity. You can read Learning Behind Bars on our website at CNN.com slash your bottom line. All right. Still to come, I'll bet your credit card has some perks you don't even know about. We've got the list.